Hello, Whittier Wildcats. This is your art teacher, Jen, bringing you another step-by-step -step drawing. Today, we're gonna be drawing a dinosaur. We're gonna be drawing a kind of cartoon style T-Rex. And I started in pencil, but then I realized I like to do it in Sharpie so you guys can see it. But it's always best to start with a pencil. So if you have one, because if you make a mistake, you can erase. Uh, but I'm going to do mine in Sharpie so that you can see it. We're going to put our paper hot dog style or landscape. So not hamburger portrait, but hot dog style landscape. Okay, we're going to start. Now remember, if I go too fast, just pause the video or rewind it. Okay. Um, all right, step one, we're going to start with a big upside down U and kind of the top left side of your paper. This is the middle slightly to the left. And then we're gonna draw a big C, like that. So far, so good. And then we're gonna draw the back of his head. And maybe I'll go ahead and do the swoop here of the front of his body. All right, now let's do his eye. We're gonna do a straight line, kind of like a half a circle with a little circle inside, and that is his eye, and it looks like he's kind of looking that way. Sometimes I like to add another line on the top just to make it look extra cool. And we're gonna put a little line like that for his nostril, and then we're gonna use my favorite line, the zigzag line, to create his mouth. I swoop it up at the end, top it off with a T, and he looks happy, 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 happy. All right, now I'm gonna draw his back, it's kind of a straight line swooping up into the tail, which we'll finish in a minute. Okay, next up, his legs. We're gonna draw kind of a curved line like this. Let's connect his belly to that. And then we're gonna draw a short line down. And then we're gonna draw a curve line. This is gonna go past that. And then we're gonna swoop it up and this is one of his legs. Now you can add these little lines right here, but I'm gonna give mine some toenails because you know that a T-Rex has some sharp toenails. Okay, then we're gonna do his next leg, which is gonna be slightly behind this leg that we already drew. So we're gonna draw a curved line, and we're gonna draw down, over, connect to the other leg, so it looks like it's behind it. Some more of those awesome toenails. And then you just do a little line right here, and it looks like that leg is behind that leg. Very cool. Now, what would a T-Rex be without his short little arms? So, I'm gonna make this very easy. We're gonna do a swoopy curve line. We're gonna add three zigzag points, and then we're gonna swoop it back up. There's one, easy peasy. You do the same thing right here. And then I like to do a curved line here and here because it kind of makes it look like it's part of his body. Next step, we're gonna continue his body line right here and we're gonna take it up and over to his tail. And that right there is a very simple, fun, cute, cartoony um, T-Rex. Now, if you have colors and you want a color, um, I would probably use colored pencils for this. And you can make it whatever color you want. It could be a pink dinosaur, and you could give him purple spots. You could make a green dinosaur. You could draw, like, a little spot right here where he has that line on his belly. You could add spikes if you wanted to. I know T-Rex don't have a ton of spikes, but you could add them anyway because this is your dinosaur. I've given you the start of a picture, and you could make it into your own. You could give him some polka dots. You know, whatever you want, make it yours. You could give him a big spike on his head if you wanted. If you want a color, you can use anything. You could use markers, colored pencils, uh, oil pastels, anything that you have, or just a simple pencil drawing. And then when you finish it, I would love to see it. You'll be able to upload it under activities on Seesaw. And I can't wait to see what you guys made. I hope you had fun. I sure did. Thank you guys. Bye.